Changing out the rocker cover gasket on a Skoda Fabia Mark 1 1.9 PD engine, 99 to 2003. Hi guys, this is a job I've been wanting to do for a while and should be fairly straightforward. I'm fed up of uh, opening the bonnet and seeing all this grubby oil at the front of the engine. So I'm going to fit a new rocker cover gasket. Make sure you get the right one for your car engine, as they often differ on the model numbers. As you can see, it looks like it's been leaking down here. Yes, pretty grubby. It does look like it's leaking from the rocker cover gasket. I think what I'll do is clean this up first. But I'll have to be careful of these electrical connections down here and the connections on the back of the alternator and the alternator itself. I think I'll protect the alternator a little bit with a cover and I'll spray the connections down at the bottom of the engine with WD-40 as it's a water dispersant whilst at the same time running the engine and pressure washing it. Looks like I've got to take the cam belt cover off. I'll just take this sound insulating pad off which is also soaked in oil. Obviously if I'm running the engine I don't want anything to get caught in the belts on the alternator or sucked in where the windings are. So I'll put a bit of rag down and then some plastic on top of that. Now this is where the fun starts, start the engine and away we go. Ah, lovely clean engine. Much better. Right, first take the crankcase breather off at the top here, push it together at the top and bottom, and it just pulls off. Turn it upwards. Right, I'm going to take the cam belt cover off, but I'll need to take the intake pipe off to give myself a bit of room. You don't have to do that, but it just makes you easier to get the cover off. And it's best to use some plumber's pipe wrenches to take this clip off. Right, that's better. Get my hand in behind here. There's a clip at the back, which is difficult to see, but it's exactly the same as the front one. You just have to feel for it and then detach it. And with the magic of camera work, here it is. Simples. Now for the front one. And the cover just lifts up. It's got a little lip on the top. Right, excuse the socket set, I've left it out in the rain. So what you need is a, a, a long extension and a wrench, a 10mm socket and a swivel knuckle joint to get at the one difficult bolt. There's 13 bolts holding the cover on in total around its perimeter and the difficult one is just here below the EGR valve. But no worries. You can do it with a quarter inch little knuckle and extension. Slot it in this slot here, put your hand round the back of the head and ease the socket onto the bolt. I tried to get a shot from behind but I found that part of the inlet manifold was right in the way. So the only shot I've got of it is from the top. 
through a, a little crack just here. Once you've got the socket on it's quite easy really. Loosen that off. Now we can loosen all the other bolts off. Detach these pipes at the front here and just pull them forward a little bit. I'm using a, a flat bladed screwdriver just to ease the rocker cover up a little bit. The main thing with this is you've got to make sure all the bolts are completely loose as they're still holding in the collets and could catch on one or two threads. Right, it seems to be quite loose now. Just need to jiggle it a bit more. Obviously it's quite tight where the EGR valve is, so you need to yank it a little bit, and there we have it. Here's the part number for the cover. We'll just have a look at the top of the head while we've got the cover off. All the unit injectors and rockers and the camshaft. Here's the thread of the difficult bolt just here. And I'll clean all the surface of the machined surface so it's nice and dry. All the electrical connections for the injectors. Right, I'm going to clean and dry all the machine surface. And I'd recommend putting a small amount of sealant on the base of the bridge casting for the camshaft bearing. Just put a bit in the corner on each side where the arrows are marked. I haven't actually got any at the moment so I'll have to do that later. So don't worry when you don't see any later on in the video. It just means I haven't got round to buying any yet. Well that's my excuse anyway. It's not my fault. It's Uncle Bob for putting it on his sandwiches in the shed. He lives off the stuff, although I wouldn't recommend it. Pull all the old seal out from the bolt collets. and refit the new seal. One thing I did notice is this um, locking key on the gasket isn't the same as what's on my original one. My original's got two locking keys either side of the rocker shaft. So I'll have to cut that off a little bit. I don't think it'll affect its function too much. I'll just trim it off with a Stanley knife blade. That's it, fits in nicely now. Ready to put that back on. Dry the seal off. Refit the rocker cover, put it loosely in place and jiggle it about so it seats nicely first. Then we need to re-tighten all the bolts to the correct torque in the correct sequence. And here's the sequence for this rocker cover. 
which I've got on my phone so I can refer to it as I'm doing it because I always forget these as I was always taught uh, tighten them from the middle outwards but um, not necessarily sometimes but if I'm going to stop all the leaks then I better do it correctly I'm going to loosely tighten the rocker cover on first Now that's all threaded on. Now I'll use the torque wrench to torque them up to the correct torque, which I'll leave in the description. Right, that's done nicely. Put the breather pipe back, clip it into place. Now the cam belt cover, which is a little bit fiddly. It won't clip on until it's seated correctly. Feel around the back for the clip. Nice. Put the intercooler pipe back on and the sound insulation. Just clean the top of this cover and we're done. Now I'll just go reprimand Bob for that sealant. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>